What's up everybody, it's John Root. I'm outside the Mullet Arena where the Coyotes have their Pride Night. They promoted it and then deleted the post. The NHL just said, hey, we're not doing Pride jerseys during warmups. Pride tape, you can't do it. And then you can do it. We gotta ask people about all those controversies, what they think. Let's go. Uh, it's Pride Night for the Arizona Coyotes. They did promote it online and then they ended up deleting that. Do you think that was the right call? And what do you think about pride of the Coyotes in, in the uh, no, NHL? I don't think it was the right call. I, uh, I think they should promote it. Yeah. Absolutely should promote it. This NHL is for everybody. Yeah. And then why do you think that it would be like not inclusive if they didn't promote it? I, well, why would you exclude anybody yeah. from this? And I think that's what they're doing. If they don't promote it, that's what they're doing. Yeah, did you know that the Arizona Coyotes originally promoted Pride Night as tonight, but ended up deleting their posts on X and Instagram? I, I think it's smart because, you know, like I said, it, it, it doesn't belong here. I mean, if you want to go out and you want to go to a Pride Walk on Central or you want to go to something like that because you're into that, go to it. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to hate you for it. If that's your, it's your right. We all have rights. This is America. We're all we should have freedom, but it shouldn't be pushed onto us because your agenda is different. Yeah. And then, do you think Pride like belongs here in sports, or the do you think the NHL is making the right decision with Pride tape? And I think what it is is it's it's a in its infancy stage for the NHL, right? Yeah. Um, I think they're behind the eight ball and being able to introduce it into the sport. I think behind the scenes there's still some stigma of homophobic and so trying to open that up um, behind the scenes has to start first yeah. and I think that was great that you know one of our players puts pride tape on his on his blade after the NHL you know officially banned that and be able to say no I, I, I feel that I should be able to express myself whether he's actively part of the LGBTQ or being able to say I think we should be inclusive right yeah. so Kudos to him for yeah. being able to do that. Yeah. Um, and it's opened up the NHL's discussion again. So power to the players to be able to have that. Yeah, a huge overreaction to a handful of players that, you know, we're not comfortable with uh, just supporting everyone's right to enjoy hockey, enjoy sports. Completely unnecessary for that memo to go out to every team in the league. Huge mistake. I think we're seeing it now. That's why it's been retracted. It's unfortunate that, I mean, I'm glad that uh, a Coyotes player had, you know, the wherewithal to stand up for that and take a stand. And it's a small step back in the right direction, but it's a shame that it's even come to this point. But yo, go Kings. Go Kings. <laughs> hey, what is your thought on the NHL stance on Pride Night? They obviously took away Pride warm up jerseys, they flip flopped on the Pride tape. Honest thoughts. I think they should probably leave that out and if they if they want to be prideful and stuff like that hey man do it do it at home do it out in public in other in other ways but for here i mean it's kind of flip-flop you got people that that are offended and not offended people that don't care but really it's kind of like um kind of like the whole kneeling thing in football you should keep that keep that out you know out of that yeah you know keep it in the locker room and all that if you don't want to stand out there go stay in the locker room all right so it's pride night here for the coyotes uh what do you think about the nhl stance uh during the off season even now with the pride tape controversy saying you can't have it now you can have it we're not having warm-up jerseys for pride what's your thoughts on that I just think it's really silly. I play in a league here in Arizona that the Coyotes support. It's called Alpha. It's Arizona Legacy Pride Hockey Association. I'm a supporter. I am not. Um, I just go to help out and hang out with cool people. They're a great group of people, um, and they like the tape. It's tape to support. So I've got the colors on to support them. Um, I just think it's silly to even ban that because it's we're we're being more inclusive by allowing it. So I think it's it's a an issue of inclusivity and, and letting everyone be a part of the sport. So, All right, so there's been a little controversy around Pride Nights uh, in the NHL. Gary Bettman during the offseason said no more Pride warm-up jerseys. They're still going to be au auctioned off. Um, Pride tape, they just flip-flopped on that. They said there would be no Pride tape and then came back. I think it was just a few days later. Ended up saying, no, nah, like if you want to use Pride tape, and it's Pride Night tonight for the Coyotes. So what do you think about the NHL's reaction and decisions on this? I don't necessarily agree. I mean, anybody's allowed their own personal preference. 
Yeah. So I think everybody should just support. And so you would like it to go back to how it was, like have pride jerseys during warm-ups and pride tape? Why not? I mean, yeah. why, why shut anybody out? We, we can't say hockey is for everyone if we're not going to allow pride tape, we're not going to allow pride jerseys. Like, at the end of the day, we got to choose what side we're on. We can't say hockey is for everyone if we don't believe in that. Do you believe that hockey is excluding people then? I think if we exclude the ability for the players to express themselves and their free will, yeah, we are. Okay. I mean, as a parent, too, you, you got your kid right here. And, I mean, does this, do you believe that this belongs in sports? No, because actually, if you think about it, it's almost like if you want to put that in schools. I mean, let the kids be kids. Let them grow up and grow into being an adult, and then them figure out what they want to be when they grow up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let them fully develop before you just say, hey, here, be this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you want to play soccer? Do you want to play football? Do you want to play hockey? You give them the choice. Yeah. You don't just say, hey... This is what you're gonna be because this is what I prefer. You know, I mean, it's okay to be whatever you want, but don't force it on people and communities. I haven't seen anything more forced on people in a long time other than, you know, like churches and things like that and certain religions. This has been pushed on people so hard, like, oh, you gotta accept this. No, I don't. It's not that I don't like it. But I don't have to agree with it, yeah. just like the presidents. If I like Trump, you like Biden, hey, I respect your opinion, but I'm not going to hate you for it. Yeah. I'm going to give you crap about it. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Hey, it's, it's, it goes a long ways, you yeah. know. But let the kids be kids. Same things with sports. Let, let people, you know, enjoy the game they came to watch. They didn't come to watch political stuff. Um, racial things things like that or or you know those kind of natures let them come to watch the game let's 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 watch game stuff you know yeah. i want to see so just keep sports sports get the politics yeah. out of there get like the sexual orientation pretty much. yeah pretty much yeah i mean same thing you know like i said let the kids grow up and go to school and learn what they need in school when they want to grow up and later on they want to do that so be it. What would you say to people that are just like, I just want politics completely eliminated from sports. I like the way sports was 10, 20 years ago. If you want to go and go to like a pride parade or pride celebration, some other, some other place, but I don't enjoy it in sports. I don't feel comfortable with my kids being subjected to this stuff. What would you say to them? I understand that point of view. I yeah. really do. I mean, but you can't eliminate parts of it, not all of it. It, it's it's got to be either all or nothing. You support everything or you support nothing. What was your initial reaction when uh, Gary Bettman came out and said that we're going to do no pride warm-up jerseys, we're going to do no specialty warm-up jerseys at all? You can still buy them at auction. You can still wear any pride stuff. You can have your pride nights. What was the initial thoughts? Oh, I, I don't know. I guess that doesn't bother me a whole lot. You know, as, as long as the NHL would support pride night, I don't have any problem with the jerseys. I mean, honestly, it's embarrassing for the league to have to backtrack like that and, like, cover their asses. And it's part of why they're behind every other league in terms of fans and trying to follow the trends and not do it the right way and then make up for mistakes just seems, like, really short-sighted. And they wonder why they're trailing behind, like, adding new fans, adding new fan bases. So, yeah, I think it's it's good they made a change finally. So you think they're they're losing fans because of their pride stance? I think they're limiting the fans they're reaching. And, like, the complaint is always that... Hockey has a very specific fan base, and if we're trying to open it up globally into other fan bases like other leagues, like not doing a very good job of keeping up and letting players express their personalities beyond that, right, in terms of how they market players, it's just kind of another indication that they really, I think, are failing on a lot of different levels of marketing the sport. What do you think about some of the players that ended up not wearing pride jerseys over the last few seasons, and specifically last season? The Stahl brothers, James Reimer with the Sharks, Provorov with the with the Flyers. What do you think about Again, them? Again, maybe it's just personal preference. Yeah. I don't have an issue either way, but if, say, you personally were against it, then yeah. that's your choice. Mm. Yeah. My choice doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I, I, 
I don't want to put my personal views out there either, you know, but people have a right to, yeah, people, people can believe whatever they believe, but people misinterpret the Bible all the time. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, if people had their way, um, with interpreting it hardcore, I mean, they would say women should stay home and and raise kids and not work and all that good stuff. So, um, I just think the Bible gets misinterpreted to support people's causes in the wrong way. So, but I mean, people have a choice. They don't have to support it if they don't want to, but they shouldn't, they shouldn't, um, you know, come down hard on people who are trying to support. I mean, I, I look, I support people having free will to do, to wear and represent what they want, but we should not ban people from wearing and having pride to. I'm Indian. I grew up playing AAA hockey. I have, the Kings have triple, uh, have Indian pride night. It's weird to have a bunch of Russians and Canadians and Americans representing Indian pride, but all of them wear it. Right, they wear the jersey. How is that any different than having Pride Night? Right, like, why should my tiny ass part of the country have more sway than the LGBT community? And it by, just feels wrong. And by the way, if you want to talk about the Stahl brothers, look up what they did at their bachelor party in you know northern Minnesota or Wisconsin like ten years ago. So I mean, not exactly model citizens. Yeah. Final question for you, because I know you got to get into the game. Um, would you believe that people like maybe like James Reimer or Provorov, who I believe is like Eastern Orthodox, do you believe that they would be misinterpreting the Bible um, as the background and foundation of their stance to not wear the pride jerseys? I think so. I mean, I think I think we can all support people. You know, we're, we're just about loving people. Um, you know, the church I go to is about loving people, loving God. And I think if you love people, love God, you love everybody, regardless of what their, you know, background is, their race, religion, you know, sexual preference. It shouldn't matter. You should just love people. So that's my idea of what the Bible is. I'm new to the Bible, but I also don't know a lot about hockey. I just learned yeah. how to play a couple of years ago, so I don't know who you don't these want people to see are. Me play hockey. <laughs> Unless you're I on learned, a comedy show. Yeah, no, we're, it, th- this is what I mean. They're so inclusive. They let me in. They taught me how to play hockey. So yeah. working with this. Um, Alpha group. I mean, it's been fantastic. It's very inclusive. Everyone's welcome, and that's what hockey should be about. And if you don't mind me asking, what church are you going to out here? Oh, Sun Valley Christ Church, I think it's called. I don't know. Yeah. SBCC. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about players that weren't wearing pride jerseys last season? Disappointed. What would you say to them? If you had a chance to sit down with James Reimer, Prover- uh, Provorov, Saul Brothers, what would you say? Get with the program. Get with the program. Why would you exclude anybody? You want to get, you, you want to support this sport, and you want it to be success. Open it up. Let it be everybody. Simple. Final question for all you guys: Do you think there should be punishment, or should have been punishment, for players that didn't wear those jerseys in the past? No, it should be optional. Like, look, if you don't want to come out and wear that, then fine, don't. But it's, it should never have been a negative thing. The whole intent is to be a positive thing, and for it to be turned negative, you're never going to get people to agree. But I think they completely interacted with it the wrong way and just kind of reacted in a way that I think they're regretting, right? They made their choice and they stepped back on it now. And so clearly they realized they were making a mistake. And either you're going to say that the sport is for everybody or you're going to exclude people. And that's something they need to question if that's the stance they're going to take. So you think it's a positive or negative thing that pride is being pushed in sports? I think it's a negative. You know, it's kind of like um, during COVID, they started to push the whole, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kneel, kneel for the, you know, hold this whole thing. Hey, I understand it. Everybody needs to have equal rights. It doesn't matter what color you are. We all need equal rights. We all need to stand for each other. And that's what's wrong with this world so far is we are falling apart. We need to come together, not fall apart. What do you think is the best part of Pride Night or the most positive part of Pride Night? Just the awareness, just bringing it bring it out. But bring it out to the public. I mean. What would you want people to be aware of specifically? So someone that enjoys Pride Nights at, at games, what would you want them to be aware of specifically? Uh, nothing more than we support, the NHL supports Pride Night. Okay. What would you think about the people that maybe don't want Pride at the Coyotes or in the NHL or have it pushed as much as they seemingly think it's pushed? You know what I think is the end game is it, it being able to just not have it a factor, right? To be accepting of, of pride, that celebrate pride. Yeah. Um, and if we treat each other as equals and it's not a big deal, then what was the whole point of, of having pride? Eh? Because yeah. it, we're already inclusive, but we're not there yet. That's yeah. the whole reason why we're making this movement. So I think that's where the end game is, is eventually we'd love to be able to see people just inclusive all together and not not have it as a stigma that's yeah. going on. That's so, so would you say then if they were still wearing jerseys, uh, would you think that it's fully inclusive of every single player 
wore it or do you choose? I think, I think there's some individuality that needs to happen okay. um, to be able to respect everybody's opinion. But at the end of the day, support yourself. You know, if, if, you, if you have a resistance to something, be accepting of the other people that want to be able to do it, right? Um, so I think there's a, there should be a fair balance at the end of the day that happens um, for, for acceptance of pride and those that want to be able to say, you do you, I'm, I'm good with that. And if they choose not to participate in it, peace. You know, everybody's happy at the end of yeah. the day. What would you say to the people that don't want drag queens then here? Like, they don't want those at games. They don't like that kind of debauchery. That, uh, they, they, they should take a look at Pulavari's uh, Ice Spice uh, costume from today. Yeah, I mean, who, like, look, I, who cares? Like, whatever makes people happy in life, like, it doesn't affect me. Like, we're all here to enjoy our lives, have a good time, be entertained at a sporting event. I really don't care how people want to enjoy it and, and make those choices. Let's say that they had a, they had a Christian night like maybe a season or two ago and they they expected every player to wear you know a cross and it says Jesus is Lord uh, on the back of their jersey what would be your thoughts on that specifically I wouldn't care for that much okay. yeah. what would be your thoughts back to the same thing where we're talking yeah. about is that's the flip side is shoving it down everybody's throat you're forcing everybody to say you need to be accepting of this there, there's got to be a different way to present that you can't have a tidal wave of uh, religion in this example that you're asking for the question and expect people to say, well, there's an overwhelming support for it. I have to be supportive as an example of it. That's not the way you're going to get acceptance for those people that you're getting resistance from. But I've asked you guys enough questions. Go D-backs, have fun tonight. Right Thank on. you. you got to look at it this way. We let these folks in that have these King's jerseys on. <laughs> that would you let guys anybody. are so inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are. Thank you guys. Thank Appreciate you. it.